Well, what up guys, it is Justice here and welcome back to RuneScape. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a few patches that have been released this week that have caught my eye. Now, I like to do a patch video every so often. There aren't any huge PVM related patches this week. However, there has been an overhaul of the chat system and just making it essentially a lot more fluent for us and just improving our overall chat experience on the game. Also, a few settings that I will take you through in this video will improve your overall account security just in case the worst is to happen or you have a bit of a derpy day and you end up dropping some expensive items yeah there's some restrictions there now in place that will stop you from doing this and stop anyone else from doing that on your account so firstly we're going to have a look at the chat settings and what's changed here well first off it's going to be easier for you to congratulate people now and congratulate your friends who have received an awesome epic drop in the game this is something which has been long asked for by the player base and i am so happy to actually finally see this in the game this is something which we've wanted for a very long time the ninja team have said they've been working on it for a very long time and they've came up with a nice little unique way of us doing it rather than just like right clicking uh, a name which is what we always thought potentially could happen where you could just right click somebody in the broadcast message and then instantly pm them which yes would be even easier but instead the option that they've gave us is all you need to do now is do the uh, dash or slash sign pm space and then the username you want to send a direct message to so if you see somebody like a friend who's just received an amazing drop rather than you having to search through your friends list which by the way you can do now you can actually search your friends list but rather than having to go to your friends list at all and try and find them instead now you can just dash pm uh, sorry slash forward slash pm username and then just basically pri privately message them straight away and congratulate them on their awesome drop so that's going to be a lot more user friendly now for everybody to use and overall a much better experience uh, rather than us getting frustrated and then at times even not even congratulating people because it's just so frustrating to try and find them in your friends list and instead you're just spamming in the clan chat if they're in your clan which is still good uh, but this gives you the option now to privately message those people those good friends of yours that you really want to praise for that drop uh, on the friends list specifically when you hover over a world that other people are in it shows more information now such as the number of players in that world Players can now sort out their friends chat and their friends list alphabetically. And if you hover over the icons next to players' names in your friends chat, it will tell you what their rank is. And finally, in terms of the chat settings, a greater number of messages are now chat filtered when selecting this on which is extremely useful because you don't want loads of messages being spammed in your chat box, especially if you have loads of different chats on, such as clan chat, friends chat, private messages, etc. You can, by the way, split your private message. You could always do this, but now you have to do it through your chat settings under gameplay settings. So all of those settings are now under gameplay settings. But yeah, our overall chat setting environment has been improved. It's been made more user-friendly to allow us to play the game more fluently and just make it easier for us. All right, so there's been a simple tip box update where you can actually now turn on um, the ability for your bank pin to show up on your screen. So it'll display on your screen when you enter any high risk areas or just before you enter any high risk areas, sorry. And that will essentially let you know whether you want to go through there. You'll have to put your bank pin to get into that high risk area where there's a chance of your items dropping for other people to see, for example. Let's say the portals for PVPing. That's a prime example. Along with, if you try and drop any high value items, again, your bank pin will be displayed on your screen. You'll have to go through that bank pin in order to drop those items. And this will help a lot of people out, um, especially if, for example, your account gets hold of by somebody else and they just try and drop some valuable items to you, which you already have outside of your bank. So maybe items that you're wearing like on the screen, for example, like your dry gauze. So just to touch on a couple of PVM updates, like I said, these are an absolute minimum. There's been a change regarding the rune dragons. More specifically, the drop rate of a Kethsi outfit scroll is now 1 out of 200, and that's been changed to 1 out of 200. These are dropped by elite rune dragons. There are five different pieces of the Kethsi outfit that you can get from each of these scrolls. Now, it's ridiculous how rare this is. I mean, I don't know how rare it used to be, whether I'm guessing they've reduced the drop rate, but now it's 1 out of 200 of an elite rune dragon. I mean, you don't get that many elite rune dragons anyway to kill across 1,000 normal rune dragons, which I killed when within the first week of release. I only killed uh, a few elite rune dragons. So you're looking at like once every, what, 10 minutes or so? So yeah, these are extremely rare to get. If anybody's got a full Kethsi outfit, I would love to know in the comment section. Because since the release of Rune Dragons, I've not came across anybody who has this full outfit. So it's pretty prestigious if you manage to get it. 
It's very badass, so check it out. Let me know if you have it or if you know anybody who's had it, because that's pretty cool. And yeah, there's probably a lot of you guys listening right now that probably didn't even know about the Kessie outfit that much because it is a cosmetic after all, and it's so rare. But yeah, I thought I'd let you know anyway. And now moving on to probably a very important patch for a lot of people out there who love their clan avatars and are constantly using their anagogic orts with them to receive weekly buffs, virtual storage is now available for this item, making it more convenient for you to receive your weekly XP buff. You no longer need to carry this item around. Thank God for that. And finally for this video, Soul Link has been fixed. It now works correctly with damage reduction. So when I was doing the Cow Fight King, I did find that I was taking a lot less damage. So it seems to have been fixed to an extent there. I also wanted to check out whether the Heal Voke uh, method would still work, where I created a video on how to Heal Voke with Soul Link uh, a couple of weeks back. And as expected, this does seem to still work well, where you will heal half of the original hit, which of a green attack is pretty substantial. If you want to check out the full video of that, and also there's a lot of bloopers at the end, link will be in the description below. And I just want to note before I end this video, the chat changes with the forward slash private message is a bit glitchy. And also, the friends list is also very glitchy as well. Uh, it takes a lot longer to load at the moment, and it also flickers for me occasionally. So there definitely are some bug fixes that need to be fixed here. Thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.